Okay, now we'll get to the second game from the U.S. Championship. This is Hans Niemann versus Fabiano Caruana. Fabiano was black. Fabiano said he thought this was the most important game or his best game or the game he liked the most in the tournament. So I figure I should show it. Okay, so they played their usual Italian stallion. Two knights, what else? Transposed into a Joko Piano, to an Italian game. Boring. And I'm sure both players are in their prep. Typically, black likes to play knight e7 to g6. And if black's knight's not going to be on c6, then white typically wants to play d4. So that's what happened. Okay, and he, Fabi did play his knight to g6. Bishop a4 is a good move because Fabi was going to play c6 next move. Knight h5 is good. Knight f1 is good. Maneuvering their pieces around. Knight f4. Knight g3. All these moves are good. And the engine says it's equal. E takes d is reasonable. Knight takes. Bishop takes. The engine says this is all reasonable. C takes. And d5. So black gave up the two bishops, but he's attacking on the king side in the center. And he's got a nice pawn on d5. e5. And the engine says e5 is a mistake. I mean, e5 is the only move I would ever think of. I would only play e5 with white. I would never let black take this and isolate my pawn. But the engine says it's bad. Um, now it prefers black if black plays the move queen h4. Queen h4 is a normal looking move. Get your pieces over there. Maybe sack one of these, you know, got a lot of pieces, got a lot of pieces on the king side. Okay, Fabi played a move I can't show on the stream because I'm against it. So now the stream is going to stop for a few hours. I can't show this move. Exactly. Fabi never played F6. Okay, the engine's not thrilled with that move. Now, now Hans played very nicely. Hans got rid of all of Black's attack by trading and trading again. And then White has a nice pass pawn on e5. And so it doesn't like what Fabi did here. Fabi played f5. Now in this position, in the live commentary, they were singing Hans's praises for basically refuting f6, and now white has the advantage. And Fabi played f4. I'm sorry, Hans played f4. And they were like, white has a big advantage, and maybe black can draw. That's what Yasser and Kirill and Kate were saying. Then I came back to the game like an hour later, and it was like the opposite of what they were analyzing. They were like, black, white's going to play g4 at some point, and black's going to defend and be solid. And then maybe white can't break through, so Fabi draws. Okay, and none of that happened. Okay, nothing happened like they said it would. Instead, Fabi took control on both sides of the board. And the engine does say that white is up 0.65 here. It likes white's position a lot. This bishop is blockaded. Lisa Simpson wouldn't like it. And I have a passed pawn. And white has the half open C line. And later in the game, white could consider G4. But none of that happened. What Black played queen E7. And white played A3, which the engine says is slightly inaccurate. It wants to play rook A C1. But he played A3, so you couldn't play queen B4. So it makes perfect sense. So C5, reasonable. Rook a c1, c4. So black sort of took control of the queen side. And in this position, the engine still prefers white. Queen d1, engine likes that move. King h8. And Fabi shows his intentions of playing rook g8 and g5. 
Now, what's funny about this game is it's all blocked up. Everything's blocked. And so typically, if things happen like that, you get a colonoscopy and you figure out what's going on. Hey, I sent you a text. Yeah? Let's see here. Darn, sorry I missed part of the game. Which, uh, How did it get blurry over here? It's, it's not, the internet's really slow on that computer. That's why it's blurry. I refreshed and it didn't, oh, did. didn't help. Okay. Yeah, the computer maybe should be rebooted or something. Yeah. I decided to look at 10 U.S. championship games. Yeah, that's good. Although I'm on game three, so probably I won't look at all 10. Mm -hmm. Man, Tots have today just destroyed Crush. And Crush uh, went to the city hall and applied for a name change. Crushed. Yeah. Yeah. Darn, I'm sorry I missed that while I watched the VOD. Mm-hmm. But, um. Yeah, carry on. I'll sit down in a minute. Yeah, that computer sucks. Yeah, this internet's not the best. I'll reboot it. Alright, keep it. This is the game Hans played against Fabi mm. a few days ago. Okay. White played Bishop B5. The engine doesn't like that move and now says it's equal. And Fabi played G5. So Fabi played C5, C4, G5, and White basically did nothing. Okay, now, if you're a computer, you just play the move that gives you the highest number. If you're a human, you, th you think, this is how you think. You think, I'm getting attacked on the king's side, I need counterplay. So Hans made a move the engine doesn't like because the engine doesn't want counterplay. The engine just does nothing. Like rook e2, rook c3, rook f1, and these moves are all equal. But instead, Hans wanted counterplay, so he played b3. And that's a very reasonable human move, and the engine says it's terrible. Okay, now the negative of b3 is you're hanging a3. So a3 was protected and now it's not. Okay, so Fabi ignored that and played g takes f, b takes c4, and rook to g8. So obviously, if white trades on d5, which he didn't do, now you got, you got some issues here. Okay, and there's a plonk in f3 and so forth. Fabi could fix his f3 mistake by playing, his, his f6 mistake by playing f3. Okay, so in this position, Hans played rook c3, which the engine doesn't like as much as other moves, and Fabi took another pawn, dc. So Fabi's just taken all the pawns. Now Fabi is two pawns ahead, although he's one pawn ahead. He's one pawn ahead because bc was played. Okay, bishop takes c4 is the engine move. If I had white in a blitz game... I would play d5, and then I would resign after queen c5 check. That's definitely what would happen in a blitz game. I wouldn't see queen c5 check. Okay, so Hans played bishop takes c4. Okay, this is all correct. And seven moves ago, the position was all blocked up, and now there's pass pawns and open files everywhere. And Fabi got greedy and took on a3. So now... There's two pass pawns in the center. There's two pass pawns on the queen side. Black is up a pawn. And most importantly, black is threatening on the king side now. He's threatening queen takes h3. And also f3. Because after f3, you, you can't take it with the queen because queen takes queen. So Fabi has a big attack against the king. And Fabi has a passed a pawn with his rook behind it. But Hans has two pass pawns in the center. Okay, rook c2, that's the engine move. And Fabi played f6 earlier, so now he played f3. e6, the engine says that's a mistake. f takes g, now black wants to play queen h3 with an instant win. Queen e2, the engine says that's a mistake. He should play queen h5 defending his pawn on h3, but he's still losing. Queen takes h3, and now we have seven passed pawns, what else? 
Seven past pawns, what else? Okay, and Fabi's threatening queen h1 check. Queen e5 check, rook to g7. In this position, the engine wants to play queen h2, and it says black plays queen d3 and wins. But pawns played rook c c1. White black played queen h1 check. Hans, probably using some kind of anal device, played the engine move. Can you believe he played the engine move here? It's a tough position, complicated. And he played king f2. Very suspicious. Okay, then Fabi played queen h4 check. And he ran away. He played the move king e2, running to the center. Okay, and Fabi said, uh, I got five pass pawns, one for each of you. So he played the move f4, getting this pawn into the attack also. Rook g1, queen g4 check. And then he played f3 again. Black played f3 twice in this game. White's king is not safe. King e3, that's a funny move. King e3, black played a move you would never think of. You suggest every reasonable move for black. We'll see if you get it. <clears throat> Just keep guessing moves. Um, if you guess every legal move, you'll get it. Let me just think about it for a second. The engine plays F2, but he didn't play F2. Fabi plays a move only like a 2800 player would think of. Low rated player would never think of this move. Well, go ahead then. But you suggest a move. Maybe you could be oh, right. Okay. Uh, you could be right. <clears throat> rookie 8. Yeah, rookie 8 is very reasonable. Yeah, that's, that's better than Fabi's move. Yeah. Yeah. Fabi's move is like a Fabi move. It's not the engine move. He plays king g8 because his rook was pinned. Now, uh, his, now his rook's not pinned. It doesn't matter what he plays. It all wins. It's just a funny move. Like white played king e3 and black played king g8. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Okay. Rook c2. Well, maybe he was worried about yeah, rook c7 mm -hmm. or something. Right. Rook f8. Rook f2. h5. He's got another pass pawn. Queen d5, rook e8, and white resigned. The truth hurts. Seven pass pawns, what else? And w when Fabiano won that game, that that was made it pretty clear he was going to win the tournament. Winning with the black pieces against one of the competitors. Pretty good. Karen better than Fabi confirmed. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's better since I rebooted. Mm -hmm.